guys, so I'm filming in a slightly different position today because the lighting was really bad but um, as you can see I've had my hair cut, I um, put up a blog post about it yesterday but I've had a side fringe put in as you can see, um, some sort of gentle long layers um, with some feathering I've taken loads of weight out and then they've straightened it as well so I just wanted to talk about sort of what was said to me when I went there and um, what kind of happened so I went in and what was really nice is the hairdresser sort of talked to me, he said, oh, what do you want? And I just sort of said, well, revamp me in a way. Um, so, yeah, I went over to this little sort of basin, which is really nice when you go to, a, like, posh hairdressers because they sort of, like, massage your head as they do the shampoo. But um, what really shocked me when I went in is he said, oh, your hair's really, really dry. And I'm used to having really greasy hair, which just gets greasy really quickly. And he said, well, your hair's going to get greasy for one of three reasons. Uh, the first reason is that it may look more greasy if your ends are really dry and then your sort of scalp's more shiny because it's cleaner and then it'll be a really big contrast and then you'll think it looks more greasy than it actually is. Two is um, if you're fiddling with your hair a lot. I said that could well be one of my reasons because I know I'm always fiddling with my hair, especially when I get bored. And then three is it just could be diet and hormones. So obviously your teenage hair is going to get greasy a lot quicker. But I was just really surprised to find out that how much I dried out my hair with probably use of different sort of anti-greasy shampoos and different things. So I wanted to ask if you had any sort of moisturising shampoos you could recommend or shampoos that will make my hair not look greasy but will still give it some moisture. But um, yeah, well he sort of shampooed it twice, conditioned it and then he used this product which loads of you will have heard about which is the Moroccan oil. Um, he just used a couple of pumps, ran that all through the hair, especially focusing on the ends, and it makes such a difference. My ends feel so moisturised, and this is really, really good. It's super expensive. I think this is like £30, and that is only, well, it is 125ml. Um, and he does say that this will last like six months, but still really expensive. So this is my mum's, and I know I'll ask for a little mini one, which is only 13 for my birthday. So yeah, I wanted to put the video up because I knew that my hair wouldn't last for very long because one, my mum wouldn't let me use the Moroccan oil and two, I don't actually have own straighteners so it's probably going to go a lot frizzier but um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of sort of show you as it was new and all fresh and from the salon uh, Another thing I was told was he said to me, so what shampoo are you using? And I said, oh I'm using Tresemme and it really surprised me to say like him to say, oh um, don't use Tresemme and I um, he just says loads of people use it and really it's really high in sulfur and all that kind of product which just builds up on the hair. It just doesn't look very nice after a while. So um, as well as asking you guys if you had any shampoos to recommend, I also wanted to ask if you had any Moroccan oil sort of alternatives because this is a very argan oil based product but I don't know if there's any sort of high street jeeps or anything you could recommend. Um, please check out my blog because I will be doing more regular posts including a review on this mascara which was in my last haul video if you saw that. If not I'll link the haul and my blog below. Um, I'll probably link a, do a link to the Moroccan oil as well. Uh, so yes please comment, rate and subscribe and thank you to, I think it was the person who commented on my video last time. I will be doing a skincare routine once my skin's calmed down a bit because it's sort of freaking out but thank you for watching